Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609, <clears throat> Central Texas USA. I'm doing a quick video <clears throat> on how to install a window air conditioner in an RV. I had a request from a viewer uh, to do a video about this. This air conditioner is a General Electric 6400 BTU window air conditioner with a remote. It's got a three-speed fan, and uh, believe me, uh, 64. I got a 26-foot bunkhouse model, Jayco J-Flight, and in Texas heat, I live in Central Texas. This air conditioner will keep this RV at 75 degrees and 105 degree heat. So it works very well. It's very efficient, as it, most of you know, if you have an RV. <clears throat> the air conditioner on your RV is 13,500 BTUs or larger, and they can be quite noisy. Mine has ducted, uh, it's got ducted AC, and it's still four times noisier than this one, and also four times less energy efficient. So, by using this air conditioner, I save about $20 a month in electricity for four months a year in Texas, and... Uh, and this is the fourth year, fourth summer for this AC. It cost me 175 bucks, so it's paid for itself already. But to install it, uh, of course, I was lucky in a lot of ways. I'm by myself at the time I installed it. I was 67 years old, and this RV comes, as you can see. There's the plug going up here, and then it plugs in up there because that's set up for a TV, which I don't have there, and so I use that plug for the for the AC and as to installation you know it, it, it's really easy to do I mean I, I'm one person 67 it was a little awkward I'm not a carpenter I don't know that much about these things either but these little wings fit in here and then they just slide out against the wall to seal it on the inside same way on the other side it just fits in the, you put this little thing on top it's got some screws that hold it in and then these things fit in the top and the bottom and they just slide out and what I did this is a board here I painted it black so that it wouldn't be so noticeable and over here I've got some insulation pushed in there but on the outside I'll show you how I sealed it and the outside sealer is what holds it in uh, because uh, but yeah, I've, I've actually pulled this RV with this air conditioner in it and uh, and it works very well now I was very lucky here because this window uh, actually is like the fire escape window in the RV and it, it it folds out like this and back like that and so I'll show you on the outside how that works uh, in some cases you may need to remove a window but anyway, I'm going to pause this right now and I'll go outside when you when you see this outside bear in mind I am not a carpenter I'm 67 years old I had to install this by myself so it's not the neatest job in the world, <clears throat> but it gets, it's functional, okay? It's functional. Okay, but there it is in all its radiating glory on the outside. Again, that's a GE 6400 BTU uh, AC. It's got a remote. Very important. If you get a, a, an AC, a window AC, get one with a remote. Uh, you'll never regret it. And see this window I've got, it just lifts up, okay? See what I mean? That's, but you, you may not be that lucky. You may not have a window like that. But you can see all that kind of orangey looking stuff around the sides. That is what they call large crack sealer. Okay? And, and you, you, you can see the board. That's the board that's on the inside. And it's sealed with this stuff. And I'm telling you, that stuff, you know, it, it really expands. So put it in carefully. And uh, put it all around and be sure you seal it. Because believe me, all the little bugs and shit will try to find a way into your house. And then I put this uh, cushion up here. This is just some insulation that came with the uh, unit. And you can hear how quiet it is. I mean, I'm on the outside right next to it. And uh, But anyway, I put that there just to keep uh, the window from being rubbing against the metal. Uh, but when I'm traveling, there's a way to tie this down so that it won't move it'll stay there in other words the wind won't blow it up and down and also i could there's only two two screws up here to take this window off so 
if I was going to go on an extended camping trip, I would do that. But anyway, that is how it looks on the outside right there. Uh, it's not beautiful. You could probably do a better job than I've done. But hey, man, when you're one person and that thing, I don't know how much it weighs, 50 pounds, 40 pounds. And uh, yeah, it's a little awkward to handle. But anyway, I got it in there and it works, so I'm not complaining. Now, this is the second air conditioner I've had. Not in this unit. I had This unit I've only had for three three years let's see I got it in 2013 so this will be 13 14 15 this is the fourth summer so anyway but if you have uh, a regular window say you had one like this right here see it would fit right here okay but if you have this type of window uh, you're gonna have to remove it okay and the way you do that is this rubber stuff oh there it is right there these little you may have to go on the inside, but there's a way. You'll have to get, ask them at the RV. There's a way to get those little screws here. It may, you may have to get them from the inside, but you'll have to take that window out and, uh, and then just put it in storage. And then if you get ready to sell your unit or whatever. That's where I had the uh, AC in my last RV was in a window like that. It was in the kitchen, and uh, it worked very well, not a problem. And, uh, but installing them, is, uh, it's not difficult. It, you, know, you just have to be sure that when you seal it, that uh, you double check, you know, from the inside and out that you don't have any little openings because trust me, I mean, I know you RVers know this, but insects will find a way in if they can. And uh, so what I had to do, I came back out a few times and squirted some more of that stuff in there. And anyway, I got it, got it down now. But anyway, that's it and that's the board up there. And you see, I put some on the top too that sealer but anyway it, it's very stable and uh, this window can be taken off when I travel I don't pull this RV much anymore I go I go camping in my Prius but again this is rusty 78609 Central Texas USA showing you how to install a window AC in an RV why should you do that well you know the the roof ac is noisy I, I mean i don't care what anybody says it is and even though i've got ducted air you know it's it's a it's a it's a rooftop unit but the, the ac flows through ducts into the different parts of the rv it, it's it's as quiet as you can get for a roof uh mounted rv ac but this particular GE unit is quiet again it's a general electric 6400 BT, BTUs what it says on the uh, serial number uh, sticker and but I think on the box it says 6000 BTUs and it was like 175 bucks it comes with a remote be sure no matter what you, which one you get you get one with a remote and this is the quietest one I've had this is my third one I had a Frigidaire, which didn't I didn't like it, and then I had a Hare or H A E I R or some crap like that. Uh, it was okay, but this is the best one I've had, the General Electric, and I think sometimes it's just the luck of the draw uh, because you might get a General Electric and it'd be noisy. But be that as it may, this is Rusty seven eight six zero nine talking about how to install a window air conditioner in an RV. Thumbs up, adios. Carpe diem. Bye-bye.